water, fundamental to life, critical to the nation's infrastructure, a key component of the landscape, a source of energy, essential to recreation. The demand for water in a growing nation is huge. Water is not always plentiful, and it can be used beyond its limits. Tracking our nation's water resources to ensure a clean and plentiful supply is an important task of the federal government. Agencies like the U.S. Geological Survey play a key role in assessing and mapping water. The national map produced by the Geological Survey is an important tool used by scientists in studying water resources. It is the combination of several forms of landscape data, such as surface elevations, transportation, urban areas, and water. The water component of the national map, called the National Hydrography Dataset, is a highly detailed computer database. It gives scientists the ability to analyze the nation's surface water. The dataset identifies where problems exist in the water and tracks changes in water supply. It also develops solutions, ensuring a clean and plentiful supply. In California, water is a critical resource, and the proper management of water rights is an essential responsibility of the state government. This used to be done using over 40,000 index cards linked to 3,000 maps using hand-drawn dots. We desperately needed to modernize this system to provide public access to the information using the internet. To do this, we used a geographic information system incorporating the National Hydrography Dataset component of the national map. Not only did this give us the mapped locations of water, it also gave us a water addressing system for locating the points of diversion and a flow network for identifying related upstream and downstream water rights. We modernized California's water rights system and advanced the capability of the system to the state-of-the-art in GIS that will serve us for many years to come. In Michigan, what we are trying to do is restore healthy populations of fish. Um, the lake sturgeon is a great example. One problem faced by the lake sturgeon is that they have difficulty reaching potential spawning grounds upstream because of dams and, and other barriers. So the Michigan Department of Natural Resources is modeling Michigan's waters to determine how can we get the lake sturgeon better access to spawning grounds by either removing or modifying dams. So this is done using a geo geographic information system powered by data from the national map and in particular we use the national hydrography data set and this data set is ideal for our needs because it contains dam locations and it allows us to add our own models for suitable spawning habitats so using the navigation capabilities of this data we can make accurate measurements that provide cost-benefit analysis in the decision-making process for either removing or modifying dams. The protection of public drinking water supplies is an important issue for safety officials throughout government. In working with the U.S. Forest Service, we have paired existing pollution analysis techniques and several new forms of data, creating an emergency response system that will help first responders identify threats to water supplies. To do this, we use data called the NHD+, which is NHD data that has been enhanced by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency to give us information about water flow and velocity. That information is then updated by the USGS real-time stream gauge network at the time of the incident. Our software looks at the characteristics of the contaminant and models the time interval when a drinking water intake will be affected by a toxic spill. That helps emergency responders take measures to protect the public. Geospatial data produced by the USGS often forms a foundation for many applications. In cases such as this, the data is further enhanced in a series of data integration steps to create impressive new capabilities. These examples demonstrate that with advanced data sets from the national map, there are many new possibilities for analyzing geographic information. So where do we go from here? First, scientists want even more detail in the data, such as more streams and lakes. Fortunately, new sensor and imaging technologies are driving down cost and making this possible. Second, many characteristics can be added to the drainage network, making analysis even more powerful. This technology is well-defined and ready to go. Third, we need to better integrate the many types of data that impact the science. 
water data such as stream gauges are being included, and other themes of data like elevation and land cover must also be well integrated. I am tremendously encouraged that we can achieve this through the partnership of scientists and resource managers that work on water issues in this country. We are also working closely with our colleagues in Canada and Mexico to do this for all of North America. Finally, by making the technology powerful yet easy to use, we can put it in the hands of all geospatial data users, not just a few highly trained specialists. That is where we will see our biggest achievement. When all scientists at all levels of expertise are using national map data, such as the National Hydrography Dataset, the sharing of information and knowledge will bring environmental science to a new level. Visit www.nationalmap.gov to see how you can partner with us for the future.